Well, hello one and all, and welcome to another episode of Arrow Nicely News. Uh, we missed you all dearly last week, but we are back this week and fully recharged, ready to bring you all the wonderful stories from around Arrow Senior Living Communities. Today is Friday, July 7th, 2023. My name is Lenny Hernandez, and we got a great show in store for you today. It is jammed packed. On today's episode, multiple Vitalia communities got together to attend a Cleveland Guardians baseball game. Vitalia Rockside had a pie-in-the-face fundraiser. The Wellington hosted a very special equine guest. Local high schoolers gave the Wildwood a special musical performance. And lastly, communities celebrate the 4th of July, with one community holding a flag-folding ceremony for a resident who lost their partner. With all of those lovely stories to get to, let's not keep you in suspense any longer. Welcome to Arrow Nicely News. Well, and for our first story of the day, allow me to take you out to the ball game. Take you out to the crowd. Vitalia communities all got together recently and made their way to Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio to see the hometown Cleveland Guardians take on the Oakland Athletics. It was a beautiful day at the ballpark and residents were on cloud nine watching the Guardians play against and ultimately defeat the Athletics. They even got a special visit from Slider, the Guardian's furry mascot. The entire day was truly memorable, and everyone in attendance had the time of their lives cheering on the home team. Go Guardians! Vitalia Rockside held their second annual Pie in the Face fundraiser for Alzheimer's. The event happened on the longest day of the year, the summer solstice, which has become a special day for fundraising for dementia-related diseases. Alzheimer's is a cause near and dear to all of Arrow's senior living, so we applaud the employees and the one resident who volunteered to take one right in the kisser for the cause. You can see that everyone was all smiles as they took their licks, and there was a fantastic turnout of residents to see their favorite employees get the great race treatment. We also want to send a special thank you to Bayada Home Healthcare for providing extra whipped cream and a hydration station to the attendees. A huge tip of the hat to the team at Vitalia Rockside for not being afraid to get their hands dirty for the cause. Now let's trot on over to the Wellington Senior Living where they received a very special visit from a truly majestic creature. Everyone, meet Mark the horse. Mark belongs to Juliet, who is the daughter of a resident at the Wellington. Before Mark came to Juliet, though, he served the Kazian platoon, helping to deliver final and full honors for fallen military service members in over 7,000 funerals at Arlington National Cemetery. Juliet served in the military, so her adopting Mark was a perfect fit, and they are now family. The residents of the Wellington Senior Living adored Mark, and it's easy to see why. So thank you so much for your wonderful visit, Juliet and Mark. In Southwest Missouri, residents at the Wildwood Senior Living were treated to a musical performance by local high schoolers who are putting on the show Mean Girls. Joplin area high schools joined together each summer to perform a summer musical and the cast stopped by the Wildwood to sing a few of the songs from the show. The young stars in the making put on a fantastic performance that all of the residents loved. They also visited with residents, which was just as fun for everyone. The show has since happened and everyone agreed that the cast nailed it. They knocked it out of the park. They broke all the legs. A huge, huge, huge thank you and congratulations to the Joplin High School performers for a job well done. Congratulations! I remember that being a fellow thespian as well. In high school, we would take a couple of our songs from our musicals and we would take them to uh, the middle schools, to the elementary schools. We take them to restaurants and we also took them to a few of the senior living communities in the area. And it was just so much fun! Well, our final story of the day is all about the 4th of July. Yep, yep, it is that time of year again to celebrate America's independence with delicious barbecue, dazzling fireworks, and red, white, and blue everything, everywhere. 
Arrow communities, of course, went all in on the festivities. Residents and employees decked themselves out in the colors of the flag to show love for their country. The teams in the communities cooked up amazing spreads with traditional barbecue fare such as hot dogs, burgers, corn on the cob, and of course delicious desserts. There were games and entertainment such as shuffleboard, beanbag toss, live music, and even a community parade. And as an extra special event, the Madison Senior Living recently hosted a flag folding ceremony for Dudley Barker, the late husband of Thelma Barker, who resides at the Madison. Dudley was in the Army in the 1950s and passed in 2021. The combat veterans of Missouri Chapter 4 rolled into the community to hold the ceremony, which was reverent and beautiful. The flag was presented to Thelma to honor her and Dudley and all they have given to the country. Afterwards, the vets stayed for lunch with the residents, who were of course honored to host them. It was a moving and important day for all who attended. We hope that you all had a safe and fun-filled 4th of July celebrations because you know that we did here at Aero Nicely News. Happy, happy 4th of July, everyone. Well, everyone, that'll do it for this episode of Aero Nicely News. Thank you all so much for being here today. It was my pleasure to be here with you all. We will be back in seven short days with another great episode, so mark your calendars and don't miss it. Seriously, pull up your calendars. Do, 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 do. Every Friday, Nicely News. For Arrow Nicely News, as I said, I'm Lenny Hernandez. Have a wonderful weekend, an even better week, and we will see you all next Friday. We would go out there. I remember specifically we went into a McDonald's, right? Uh, shout out to McDonald's. And we had most of the cast there. And so we ended up doing Summer Lovin' from Greece. Happened so fast. Summer Lovin' had me a blast. Met a girl crazy for me. Met a boy cute as can be. Wop, wop, wop. Summer thing. Then away to ah.